Um, and I'm going to tell you right off the bat, this might be a bad idea. I just want to notice the first two were written by women, or, or were influenced at least by women. Uh, do you see the previous two were plain English, and this one does not look like plain English? I just thought it was pretty funny to go through and see, oh, that's nice and readable assembly. Just want to, uh, it's getting better, but one of the things that we don't acknowledge as much is the influence that women have had on technology. And so that's one of the reasons why I also wanted to kind of highlight uh, their contributions and why I mentioned her. Uh, and so what happened with BASIC, um, some of you may remember, uh, my first two computers were the Apple II and the Commodore 64. Uh, both of those, when you booted them up, if you didn't boot them into a game or something, they dropped you right at the command line, which was also a BASIC interpreter. So that's kind of how I got my introduction to computing, was uh, working with these old computers, doing BASIC, and that's the way a lot of people got into computers. How many of you have coded in QBASIC? I, I kind of feel like one of the reasons why uh, programming hasn't uh, permeated the masses in the same way that it did earlier is because they no longer package languages right with your OS. Uh, and then in 2020, uh, Microsoft said, we do not plan to evolve Visual Basic as a language. So Microsoft was kind of became the, the big uh, place you went to if you wanted to program in Basic. So this is what you would have seen when you were starting up a computer in the 1990s, or I think I was still doing it in the early 2000s. Uh, but I miss those days of simple coding. I miss the days when I was able to write something really quickly and, and you know, when my short ADHD attention span could be kept in tune because I could see the changes I was making as I made them. RC burns everything down as a response, literally just shuts it all down. That's pretty much if you go and search to work on QB64, that's the one you want to get, is this Phoenix edition. And a lot of the original folks are still there. First off is a community that has continued despite numerous setbacks. I mean, we lost all the materials multiple times. And each time, these guys have been like, we're going to find this stuff on our hard drive. We're going to find whatever we can, and we're going to rewrite the rest. Uh, so this has been just a community that keeps going. Uh, it's one of the things I love about BASIC. It's easy to understand. It's easy to write. It takes so long to create applications now. Uh, you know the number of tools you have to install and configure just to get your BASIC app up and running? It's insane. It also runs on Mac OS and Linux, so you can create uh, binaries that will run across all three platforms. Now, <clears throat> the next question uh, we should probably address is, should you learn BASIC? 